Hey there, my name is Vitan, and it's time to play some more Doom 2 with Hell Revealed 2 Map 8 Ballistics. This is the first slaughter map of the WOD, and it's pretty early at Map 8 already. So you wanna grab the plasma guns first up here, then drop back down, kill these imps, so you can make your way to the door in the south, where there are a lot of rockets and a super shotgun, and then use the super shotgun to kill the remaining imps. You do have to be kind of careful though, because you don't really get any health until later in the map. Ah yeah, and that uh, Mancubus has to die as well. Don't worry too much about ammo though. This map spams everything with shells. Like, there's shells everywhere on the floor. Okay. Let's kill some of these imps as well, so they don't snipe us while we take out the revenants. Uh, okay, actually we can head over here and just kill them from here, why not? And here we also get the rocket launcher. Okay, nice. Now let's take out some revenants. Wait, are they all infighting? Seems like it. <laughs> okay, nice. In that case, I think we can head up here. Nice, wow, that really, really helps. And it also doesn't happen often. Okay, let's kill Barons and the remaining enemies. And yeah, this is what I mean with there's shells everywhere. And it feels really bad to pick up a box of shells when I'm at like 96 or 98. It, it's such a, waste, such a waste, but it doesn't matter too much. Okay, now we want to press this button, but be careful because two Hellnights are going to come out of this teleporter when we get close. And one Baron as well. And we might as well use some more rockets. Alright. And I'm gonna grab another box of shells. <laughs> okay. Then when we press this button, the area with the plasma guns from earlier has a red key. Right there. So let's grab it. And let's see, can we kill a few of the arachnotrons while we're here? Because that would help. You can also kill them from up above. But I think this is easier actually. Okay, just one more. Nice. Now we can head up here and go through the red door. And yeah, there hasn't been any health so far. <laughs> Be careful all the imps here, but you can just take them out with soup shotgun. And then in this corner we get the chain gun. Which actually isn't too useful in this map. But there is one tiny use, I guess. If you haven't killed the Arachnotrons yet. You can use the chain gun to snipe these imps from across the room basically. Like this. But if the Arachnotrons are already dead, then... Yeah, that doesn't really apply. You can't stand here. Just keep that in mind. If the Arachnotrons are still alive, you will just almost instantly die. Okay, now we can press the switch, lower the red bars. This brings us back to where the shotgun was, the super shotgun and all the rockets. And... What does this switch do again? Uh, wait, it's not a switch. I think when we grab the yellow key, a lot of monsters are gonna come out of here. Including an arch file. Yes. Nice. He's dead, so that's good. Yeah, I think that's all the monsters. Nice. Okay, now we have the yellow key, and we can head through here. I'm not gonna grab the soul sphere yet, because it's kind of a bit. I do want to press this switch to lower the yellow bars. Because when we get past the yellow bars, there's a mega sphere, and, well, also a BFG with a ton of cells. But yeah, if you don't know about this the first time, you're probably going to grab the Soul Sphere and that's just such a waste. Let's kill some of these imps. And here's where the real slaughter part begins. So let's grab the BFG. And start killing stuff. I want most of these Hell Knights to be gone. But yeah, you can see there's just... 
a ton of cells everywhere. Let's kill these as well. Including the chain gunners. I'm not sure, can you actually run out of cells? Probably. So I do have to keep it somewhat in mind. But there's so many though. And more chain gunners here. No, that seems to be all of them. Okay, well, no reason to not keep using the BFG, I guess. And I also have to keep in mind that there's another Soul Sphere over here. Well, plus the one that we left behind, of course. Um, Let's see. Well, I think we can just kill these first. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here is no barrier. So we can just go through here safely. And let's just one-shot you with the BFG. And grab the Soul Sphere. Then we press this switch. We got a ton of rockets. Uh, what did that switch do again? I'm actually not... Oh yeah, right. It reveals the blue key. And also, if we get close here, just like the last uh, part, and you might have already noticed that both parts are basically symmetrical or identical, besides monster placements. If we get close to here, I think more monsters are gonna spawn again as well. So another arch file. And two more revenants. It might be actually the same thing. Yep, that was it. Okay. Now, let's open the blue door. And start killing stuff. And you have to be careful here. Because there's one cyber demon that can spawn. Or that will spawn. But I'm not sure when exactly he spawns. The more stuff behind here. More chain gunners. Okay. Yeah, you get plenty of cells, so... <laughs> wow, okay. There was no need to use any other weapon at all. Uh, I am gonna grab the Soul Sphere. Just because it gives me 100% items, and... If the Cyber Demon spawns in my face, I don't die immediately. But he's gonna spawn in this hallway at the end. And I'm not sure when it happens. Okay, there he is. But it's good to know that there's also a secret inside the bookcase. Although, I guess I'm not gonna grab it. I'm just gonna kill the Cyber Demon like this. There we go. And then the one and only secret is inside this bookcase. If you can grab it before getting hit by the Cyber Demon, that's great. Because that makes the fight even easier. But you get so many cells, you might as well just spam the BFG from across the hallway. Alright, and now we can exit even more cells here. <laughs> okay. That's Ballistics by Sam Whitman. It's very obviously a solo map. The, just the amount of cells you get at the end with the BFG. It's pretty crazy, but it's fun. Uh, not too hard. I think the first half is actually the hardest part because you don't get any health. And if you take one Revenant Missile to the face and you're kind of unlucky with the roll, then yeah, that's gonna cause some issues. But once you get past the halfway mark and you keep the first Soul Sphere in that room, then you have a mega sphere, two soul spheres, then another mega sphere in that secret area, and then it becomes very doable with the BFG. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you in map 9.